Amina Freed with CNET News, joined again by Shafania Serene and Rebecca Deutsch, the program managers in the Windows Experience team. They're going to tell us a little bit more about the uh, interface of Windows 7. So in particular, we're talking about the jump lifts. Um, the jump lifts are really exciting because they, get, they allow you get, to get right to your end goal as quickly as possible. Uh, one of the pain points we saw was people would have to go find their application, then go find some buried folder wherever their document might live, and then go launch their file and finally get started on their work. Um, here we're trying to get you directly to get started on your work or your play um, as quickly as possible without worrying about where it is. And so jump lists here you can see are basically um, uh, like many start menus for an application. And so for Word, you can see the documents that you know, you've been uh, using recently. For Internet Explorer, you can see the websites you go to a lot. Uh, uh, for Windows, uh, I'm sorry, Internet, for Windows Explorer, you can see the folders you've been using a lot. And for Windows Media Player, they've actually customized it and made it about the high level content or albums um, and, and, and genres of music you've been listening to, as well as some key tasks. And this is really extensible by each application to be about what's most useful for that application. And literally, I can just jump directly to a particular website. And it's not just Microsoft applications doing this. Any application that uses the common file dialog or the recent items API or registers their file type gets this for free day one at Windows 7. So we're really excited about that. And then on top of that, applications can come in and customize it to be about what's most useful for their scenarios and their users. But one of the things, the user experience features that you're showing, they were demoed earlier in the week at the Professional Developer Conference. However, these aren't in the build that developers got to take home with them. Is that right? That is correct. And it will be available to a certain data. So some of you out there that are trying Windows 7 or that see screenshots, they may not have these features. And the desktop looks a lot more like the Vista desktop. But these features are part of Windows 7 and have been shown at PC. Yeah, I'm really excited about them. So they'll be, they'll be coming out. You can play with them soon. Early next year. One of the other features that got demoed but isn't in the build is how Windows resize themselves in Windows 7. I was wondering maybe if you oh, could sure. yeah. show with a couple uh, of the open so we windows. We talked a lot about kind of how the taskbar helps your, make your everyday life easier. We thought a lot about how people get their Windows to work better. So I don't know about you, but I'm always comparing to Windows. And so I can take IE here, and I can just bring it to the edge. And you notice when my mouse hits the edge, there's this interesting visual effect. It's like a glass sheet, similar to what you saw in Peak, giving you a preview. And if I let go, it just snaps in place. And I could grab Explorer here and drag it to the right side. And with, with two really simple gestures, without even thinking about it, I just got my Windows the way I want to. Great. Um, so we've got the new desktop, um, the way Windows resize themselves. What other things are uh, part of this new desktop experience? Yeah, uh, there's another experience though, that we're kind of excited about with tabs. Uh, so many of, you, many of the folks out there definitely use tabs. We know that. And so here I have, and use another window range feature by just snapping on top, by the way. And here I actually have two tabs. Let's go to, uh, let's go to news.com here. Um, and I have MSN and News. And normally, we kind of looked at this, and it's almost like there's a taskbar being built into all of these browsers to let you switch tabs. And now what we do is, if you bring your mouse to the bottom, to the taskbar, you now have a way to get to your tabs really easily. They're just like any other window. And you can easily peek at them, that's just like you did with the other types of windows. And you can easily click to switch. So really effortless way to get to the windows you use day in, day out. Great. Well, thanks so much for the quick look at Windows 7. Look forward to seeing more. Great. Thank, Thank you. you.